Hello YouTube. Brian Anthony Carr again, you know me Anthony fucking Ames. So for YouTube shall we play God? <laughs> right. So what should we talk about? Isn't it nice? Right. Helicopter on Mars. <laughs> Thank you for NASA for sending a helicopter to Mars for me, Brian. Right? I told you that if there's enough gravity that you'd be able to lift a helicopter off. And if there's enough gravity, then there must be an atmosphere because you can't have gravity without an atmosphere because it's held in together. Right? So, thank you for proving that there's an atmosphere on Mars for me. <laughs> God, eh? So. As we get to the surface of the sun, or as close as, right, so you pump hydrogen through a hole that's created like a radiator, right, liquid nitrogen, yep, yeah, to bring it down to a temperature so that the rays of the sun are overheat and boil up like a bag of potatoes. So, how do you keep warm in a cylinder, right? It's more minus 40 fucking below, minus 400 below, sorry, whatever it is with liquid nitrogen, yeah? You put the inside and the radiator, inside the cabin, obviously, right? Inside, so it creates, because it takes a lot of heat to create cold. Radiators, not radiators, sorry. Fucking uh, fridge freezers, freezers. Put them in a little room, does it not get really hot in that room? Because it creates, it takes a lot of heat to create cold because it's a heat exchange, right? Like an energy exchange. So, so to stop the little astronaut parties, right, from boiling up like little piggies in blankets, <laughs> yeah, you put the fucking workings on the inside, obviously, right? The condensers and that, yeah? So, they see how fucking close to the sun's surface you can get for me, Brian. I wonder if there's life on the sun. Uh, I wonder if they shine like we shine to them. Right, but obviously some planets got a bit dull, didn't they? So anyway, yeah, so because we shine to them on the surface of the sun the same as the sun shines at us. Right, because we're friends, yeah. <laughs> so, and because we see the goodness of their souls, like they see some flowers, we shine. So, the better the people of the planets, the brighter you shine to your twin planet. Did you know that? So, that's why the sun is so bright because it's full of very nice people. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, let's upload this to YouTube. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> Still want my fucking money, though, don't I? Just so you check in, because I still want it. And here's the thing. Nigel and Eugene. How old are you two funk bubbles? Because look. I still fucking got it, Brady boy. Right? <laughs> you can believe how much I've got it since you fished me, uh, your little family, by putting fucking liquid spice in the food in fucking Marshgate and trying to kill me and trying to over overdose me. Thank you, Samson. Mm hmm. And Ray for trying to poison me in the block in Marshgate. And Mr. Old Man Needham, as you all call him, doing the same to him in Marshgate while you held me in there for spitting on the floor. So, <laughs> director of Circo, your multinational company. Yeah? Thank you for trying to murder me on numerous occasions while I was in Marshgate. Strange that, isn't it, what you'll do for a bond that you got stole? Hmm? 
So old man Needham's in Marshgate being drugged out of his head by the screws. And he's probably had numerous fucking attempts on his life like they did to me while I was in Marshgate. So just so you all know, because this is the easiest way to do it, because the police turned into a bunch of spunk fucking bubbles and won't do fuck all for anybody. Eh? Are they privately employed by fucking Circo? Right. Mm -hmm. Question I'd like to fucking know an answer to.